Grace is a weapon in T20 cricket because she's massive. She's actually the strongest player in the team. She's so strong and powerful. She's sort of just got that mentality of seeing the ball and hitting it. And she hits the ball really straight. She doesn't play across the line all that much. And from a consistency point of view, it's actually a pretty low risk shot for her. She just hits it so well. Goes big again. It sounded okay off the bat. It is well and truly over Heather Graham's head. It's over the boundary line. I think she's matured a lot in the last couple of years to be able to be a little bit more consistent up the top of the order. Ah, such a weapon, Grace Harris. Probably firstly because she doesn't take it too seriously. She knows it's just a game. She always remembers that it's something to be enjoyed. That allows her to go out and play with freedom. I mean, it allows her to go out there and not fear failure as much as other people. Grace Harris is just a point of difference. You know as a side, especially within this Australian team, as an opposing team, her coming out at seven is a scary thought. You just have to look at that Indian match, the first game of the Commonwealth Games, and she came out and I was lucky enough to bat with her and she just said, let's do this. And she hit the ball so clean from ball one. Melbourne Stars against the Brisbane Heat. We played at the Gabba. She tummed up in 50 balls or something ridiculous. Here's a chance, and she gets it! Up onto the roof. Hit a six to get a hundred. It was miserable in the field watching it, but also at the same time, she was whacking him. It was pretty cool to watch. And that's exactly what she can do. If she's on one game and is really clear in her mindset about where she can hit the ball, she's really, really hard to get out. She's not much fun to bowl to in the net, so you've got to try and bowl short to her, otherwise it's coming straight back at you. Well, she has this thing, she goes, I'm going into power hitting mode in the net. And as a bowler, you're just like, what the heck? This is not fun. You're basically bowling the ball and like ducking for cover. Oh, have a look at this. It's a crowd catch. And the most annoying thing is she commentates the whole way. I was sitting on the hill at Blunston and I could hear her commentating her boundaries and I was just thinking, my word, she's got no idea how frustrating this is for the opposition. <laughs> Yeah, I think chat a bit is an understatement. I think she just externalises all of her thoughts, whereas most of us keep it in our heads. The one that gets me the most, and she does it in the nets as well, is when she makes contact with the ball, she will literally tell you if she's hit it well, if it's through the gap for four, or if it's six, or if she needs to save her legs. Uh, it's remarkable to me how she does it, but keeping up to the stumps behind her, I'll just like shake my head, but that's just great, she's unique, and it's just how she gets herself going and stays clear in her mindset and whatever works. Yeah, she just adds quality to this side, both on and off the field. She's different to everyone else, which is fantastic, because she actually adds character to this group, which is a group full of introverts. So yeah, she's someone that you love having on your team, albeit sometimes she's a bit annoying.